For today's video, we got some more Fortnite. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you one of the best builds I've ever built. And a little bit later, I'm going to be showing you one of the most creative traps that I've ever built. But again, for this one, we're going to be in Plankerton. And I've already built around my Storm Shield. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you the build I created around Amplifier A, which is towards the east. So as you see right here, this is what that build looks like. And to be honest with you, this is probably one of the coolest looking builds that I've ever built. And I'll explain how I built it when I get up there. Uh, but before we go over there, I just want to point out that enemies can spawn from the north, which is in this direction. I believe during defense two and three, enemies spawned from that direction. And enemies can also spawn from the south, which is in this direction. I helped a random guy out with his Plankerton Storm Shield five defense and enemies were spawning from the south so as of right now the only two places i know where enemies can spawn is from the north and from the south and another thing i should point out before we get started is that once you unlock certain amplifiers the enemy spawn locations can change so it's not guaranteed that the enemies are going to spawn in these two locations for every defense but they will be spawning there between the first defense and Plecker 10 Storm Shield 5 defense. And the last thing I should mention before we get started is that you'll probably notice I didn't fully upgrade the walls on the outside. And the reason that is is because I like the way the green healing pads look with the gray walls. It looks really cool. I don't know what to call this build. It sort of looks like a pyramid with football shoulder pads or maybe like an alien spaceship if y'all have a good name for this build let me know in the comments below so yeah with that being said let's go ahead and get started so one thing i should point out with this pyramid is that it's really easy to maneuver and get around the pyramid there's lots of places where you can go inside and come outside and get good views of the enemy spawn locations uh i have three different floors inside the pyramid right now we're on the second floor I'll go ahead and jump down and starting off on the bottom level uh, you'll notice that I did fully upgrade the walls on the inside and I also fortified these walls as well and the reason I did that is because I didn't want enemies to try to break through certain walls around the pyramid but yeah here's the first level next to the amplifier uh, we can also go up to the second level using stairs or this jump pad that I put down there and yeah here's what the second level looks like i'm gonna go ahead and run around real quick you see we got a good view to the south uh, we also have a good view of the storm shield and if we go to the other side we'll have a good view of the other enemy spawn as well and again one of the main things i really like about this pyramid is that it's really easy to move around and get where you need to go so uh, i know a lot of people were asking me how can you put doors on the pyramid well this is one way you can put doors on the pyramid we have about at least a dozen or so different openings where you can get in and move around but yeah that's uh what it looks like on the inside i'm gonna go ahead and show you the third floor real quick here's the third floor and again you can move around to any opening and get where you need to go so that's what it looks like on the inside of my pyramid all right so now that we get that out of the way i'm gonna go ahead and quickly go through how i built it um, I've already explained how to build a regular pyramid, so I'm not going to go over that, but the changes I made to the regular pyramid are these corner pieces. That's why it looks like it has spikes. Uh, normally what you would do for a corner piece is just have this square raised. And I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. And that's basically how you do a normal corner piece. But instead what we did was we had these two diagonal squares raised and that makes a little opening it looks like a little spike and I think it looks pretty cool so that's what we did for these corner pieces on this pyramid another thing we did was we opened up some of these walls that were in the middle so you can get a good view and see what's going on and yeah that's basically the changes that I made uh, between this pyramid and a normal pyramid just changed the corners and opened up some walls that were in the middle so yeah with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and show you the traps that I made at each of the enemy spawns we're gonna be starting off with the boring trap which is towards the north spawn this was one of the first traps I made and it worked really well during the Plankerton storm shield defense number three so I didn't really want to change a whole lot because it worked well the first couple of times I used it 
and basically enemies will spawn from this location which is the north every once in a while you may get like two or three enemies that spawn up here which is why I created these uh, wall launcher traps and I'll go ahead and show you what I did over here uh, we did fortify these walls as you can tell and again we put the wall launchers on the other side of the wall so if those two or three enemies do end up spawning over here hopefully they'll get pushed down into these traps down here with these wall launchers and I'll put some wall launchers here as well but yeah most of the enemies that spawn over here uh, spawn from the north and looking at it from the husk perspective uh, this is what the build looks like from here I put two wall launchers here to push them off push them back a little bit we also got retractable floor spikes and wall dynamos and I'm gonna tell you right now since we have these low walls fully upgraded with the wall dynamo the enemies are gonna have a tough time uh, get into the amplifier from this direction I believe in my last storm shield defense which was number three the enemies never made it past uh, this line of defense right here but I did make a small change to it I opened up this end right here to help them move along in this little maze we got and we also have more wall launchers right here to knock them off and make them start over so yeah that pretty much sums up the trap that i have over here the only thing i really changed between uh this one and the last time i did it is this low wall uh last time it was blocked off and had a wall dynamo on it but this time i left it open so if they do end up breaking through these two low walls uh, they can walk through here and get damaged by my other traps so that pretty much sums up uh the traps that I have towards the north again I know it's not really creative but it works I tried it out in my last defense and they didn't even make it past the third row so this definitely works when the enemy spawn towards the north but the trap I'm excited to show y'all about is the trap that I have towards the south and this is the trap right here and I know y'all are probably wondering what the hell is going on it's okay I'm gonna explain one thing I should point out is that I have not tested this out. I know enemies can spawn from here at least up to defense 5. Again, we've only gotten to defense 3 at this point, so I'm not sure if this is going to be useful after defense number 5, but we're going to at least have a couple of attempts to see what this can do. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and try to explain what I was going for with this trap. Again, enemies will spawn near this amplifier towards the south. They'll run in this direction. To try to get to the amplifier but yes yeah, for this trap uh, I guess we'll start off with this row now what I wanted to do was I wanted to put wall launchers on each of these rows but I noticed if I put wall launchers on this row it's just gonna push the enemies into these walls and that's no fun so instead what I decided to do was I put floor launchers on this row and I put a ramp above this wall so when they walk across the floor launcher hopefully they'll hit the ramp and move up a tile and from there let me go ahead and go up here so you can see what I'm talking about so basically what I'm hoping for is when enemies walk through this row they're gonna walk over this floor launcher and then they're going to bounce up in the air obviously and hopefully hit these ramps that I made and when they hit those ramps they should move forward a tile uh, or one space and if they do move forward, they're going to end up hitting more floor launchers that I put above this ceiling right here. And obviously that's going to push them in the air again. And once they go in the air again, I set up some more wall launchers to basically catapult them over in this direction. So yeah, that's basically what I was going for with this first row. As for the second row, we got a bunch of gas ceiling traps and retractable floor traps. But the main thing I want to point out is that I put a bunch of wall traps right here. So again, when they spawn over here, they'll walk in this direction, get hit with the wall traps. And hopefully they get pushed onto this floor trap that I have right here. I set up a couple floor traps and then they're going to get pushed in the air. And I set up some more wall traps right here. So they get hit with the wall trap, push onto this floor trap, pushed up into the air and then pushed away with these wall launchers so that's what I was going for with this second row and as for the third row I don't really think this one's gonna work but I left it up anyway so we could test it out and we're basically doing the same thing with this third row that we did in the second row we placed a bunch of wall launchers right there 
and when they walk past the wall launchers they'll get pushed onto the floor launcher which should push them up in the air and they should get pushed by these wall launchers again but again i don't think this third row is gonna work and i'll show you why here in a second so yeah the reason i don't think this third row might work is because again they spawn from over here and if they walk down here they should be able to get on here pretty easily but once they get pushed off from that wall launcher pushed up and pushed out let's say they get pushed out somewhere around here if they try to come back they'll end up attacking this floor piece that we put right here so i'm not 100 percent sure if this third row is going to work but i left it up because i wanted to test it out and see but i'm really confident in this second row and i'm really hoping that this third row works as well and I guess the last thing I should go over is that if the enemies do make it through my catapult trap, uh, a lot of times they'll try to break through this wall right here, which is why I have it fully upgraded and fortified, because there's a little ramp that leads up to the pyramid behind this wall, and usually they'll try to break through the floor of the pyramid by going up that ramp, so I fortified this wall and I also fully upgraded it. But another thing I did was I tried to give the husk options because y'all know me I try to give the husk options I want to see what they do how they think how they react but yeah hopefully they ignore these walls and instead choose to go up the stairs and once they get to the stairs they're gonna have to make a choice either go left or right uh, if they go left they're gonna get hit with more retractable floor spikes as well as more wall launchers so they're gonna get pushed down and have to start over uh, if they go right then they're going to be walking through my gas chamber where we have a bunch of gas ceiling traps as well as retractable floor spike traps and we also got some wall light traps as well so uh, those are the two different paths they can take if they do go up the stairs again usually they try to attack the walls but i fortified them this time so hopefully they end up choosing to go up the stairs but yeah that pretty much sums up my uh, wall launcher slash floor launcher trap as of right now I'm not hundred percent sure what I should call it maybe I should call it like the catapult trap or I don't know the GTFOH trap and the reason I say that is because I have a feeling if I see Hus getting launched from here that's what I'm gonna be saying GTFOH let me know in the comments if y'all can think of a good name for this trap and don't say a waste of materials because I'm not going to use that name also let me know if y'all can think of a good name for this build that I created uh, probably one of the coolest pyramids that I've made so far but yeah that's pretty much it when it comes to how I built the round amplifier a but yeah guys that'll do it for this one if y'all enjoyed it or found it useful don't forget to do what you do I'm A1 thanks for watching